following the full-scale military attack on the Gaza Strip on the October 7, 2023. Israel blindly and openly committed a war crime, killing civilians including infants, children, and women. They also indiscriminately attacked journalists, patients in hospitals, UN staffs, medical workers, and even refugee convoys. The attack has destroyed homes, hospitals, schools, and other public infrastructures. As a result, at least 4,500 Palestinians have been killed and more than 10,000 people wounded and more than 1 million people displaced. Israeli war crimes against Palestinian people are visibly shown through the use of white phosphorus bombs in its attack against Gaza, putting civilians at the highest risk of serious and long-term injuries. On top of that, Israel has determined to make a complete siege and isolation on Gaza, causing more than 2 million Gazan people living without food, water, electricity, fuel, and other basic necessities. The Palestinians in Gaza are facing a complete extinction and ethnic cleansing by the so-called apartheid regime of the Israeli government. The mounting crisis in Gaza, in particular, is a continuation of violation of human rights and crime by Israeli authority. It included decade of violence and intimidation against Palestinian people, annexation of Palestinian land, illegal occupation, desecration of Al-Aqsa complex, provocation of anti-Palestinian sentiment, ethnic cleansing, and torture of Palestinian prisoners. More than that, the blockade of isolation of Gaza Strip has lasted for more than one decade, since 2006, without any exception for humanitarian access and without any negotiation process. These acts violated international humanitarian laws and the UN charters. The situation in Gaza is the result of continuous silence of international communities and double standard views in assessing the conflict in Palestine. Regrettably, some countries outspokenly declare their willingness to provide support to this unlawful regime while also ignoring the peace process negotiation which have been stalled since 2014. At the same time, the United Nations, especially the UN Security Council, is not working effectively in resolving the conflict. Its efforts are inadequate in diminishing the tension implementing the 1947 mandate to establishing an independent Palestine state under two-state solution mechanism. Likewise, it has also proven that the current international systems fail in international law enforcement and also fail to uphold global justice, protect the lives of people and human rights fulfillment. It is believed that there will be no world peace including in Palestine, unless everyone is living in peace, regardless of their nation, ethnicity, religion, and faith. Under the spirit of global peace and respect to the UN charters and international laws, the House of Representatives of the Republic of Indonesia, together with Algeria and Kuwait, on behalf of the Arab group, South Africa, on behalf of Africa group, and Iran, have therefore decided to submit a draft resolution entitled stopping the war and violation of human rights in Gaza to be included as the emergency item for this 147 IPU assembly. Through this resolution, global solidarity matters in ending military aggression and open humanitarian access to Palestinian people in Gaza. So last, finally, our emergency item focuses on four item calls. First, we want to stop the military attack with complete ceasefire. Second, we call for lifting blockade for Gaza. Third, we call for international communities to be more objective and collaboratively finding long-lasting solutions for Palestinians. And fourth, we call for reforms of international systems in order to make international law enforcement more effective. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.